If there are a bunch of villagers roaming around freely and you want to gather them all at once, just place a bed and a bell nearby. Now start ringing the bell. As you can see, all of the nearby villagers start coming towards the bed. You can also use this method in the villages. Just make sure to remove all the other beds in the village. This works in the nether too. Here's a trick to make hidden lighting inside a room. Just place a torch, now place an armor stand above it, and apply any outfit of your choice. As you can see, the room is well lit and the light source remains hidden. A few more things you can do with torches are place a dragon head on the item frame and also place a torch on the same block. This gives a cool looking effect. Secondly, you can use lecterns in the item frame and place the torch to again give a good effect. If you've got wooden doors for your house, just place a few sand blocks above it. This way, if the zombies break the door, they still won't be able to enter your house. Most of the time, mobs escape when you try to close the gate. Rather than using a gate for the fence, you can use a single wall. This way, you can enter and exit, but none of the mobs can. If you're in the nether and catch fire, you can use splash water bottles to extinguish yourself. Works only on the bedrock edition. While blocking up like this, you tend to waste a lot of blocks, such as these. Instead, you can use powdered snow. Place the powdered snow and then collect it back. Repeat the process. If you have a lot of redstone around your build, you can hide them by using item frames and maps. Just place the item frame towards any corner of the block and then place the map aiming towards the side of it. This way your build looks neat and tidy. If you've gotten bored of this old bridging method, here's one of the quickest techniques. Place a scaffolding now, keep spamming on the same block to add more. Once you see them falling, just add any random block and repeat the process. Here's a way you can trick all your friends in your survival world. Make a giant looking diamond and create a map of the same. This literally looks real. Now all you gotta do is place these maps over the item frames at various locations so as to confuse your friends. You know piglins give random items in return for gold. This is a time-consuming process, especially if you want to exchange a full chest of gold. Here is an easy solution for this. Place two observers facing each other in this way and a sticky piston behind one of them. Now just place a gold block. Let's try and see now. As you can see, the piglins work a lot faster now. Works only on the bedrock edition. You can make a secret entrance like this, which opens only with a bow and arrow. All you need is a pressure plate and a few sticky pistons. Here's the wiring. When you hit the arrow, it activates the pressure plate and the gate opens. Make sure you hit the arrow exactly around this corner. Auto jump is a really useful feature. Here's a comparison between auto jump and click to jump. As you can see, auto jump clearly works well and helps you get there quicker. Here are a few tips for your builds. If you have a water build, such as this, you can replace the wood below the water with a darker one. 
This gives a wet look for the wood underwater. You can use a glow lichen to create a cool looking transition between dirt and stone. You can give these fences a good look. Take an axolotl with lead and attach it to the fence. Now grab the axolotl back with a bucket. As you can see, we get a cool looking design for the fence. If you're building a base somewhere in the middle of an ocean, since you can't build directly over the water, you've got to start building up from the ground. Rather, place a lily pad and start your build. It's so simple and easy. Here's a fun trick. If you ring a bell near the villagers, they tend to wake up. We can place an observer behind the bed and add a bell to it. This way, whenever the villagers go to bed, he wakes up. Just for fun. Please don't annoy them. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see a part 4 of the video, hit the like and subscribe button. Let's keep a like aim of 10k. Hope you guys do it.